Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have uh, the Gemini, the NG models, uh, the April 2020 releases that I bought. I got the Southwest 737-800 in the old library and the Sun Country Airlines uh, 737 in their new library. I'm pretty sure it's called the Tide Pod, Tide Pod 1. Um, I'm going to do a brief channel update really for you guys really quickly. So I'm sorry for not posting in a long time. Uh, kind of a new summer routine, getting back to it right here. Uh, I will pl be planning on posting two to three times a week. I know that did not happen last week, and I'm sorry. I'm going to try and post two times this week, but don't hold me to it. Um, so I'm saving up for a drone right now. So the... May 2020 releases that Alaskan Airlines 737 that I told you I'd be getting. It might come a tiny bit late. Um, and same with some of the other ones like the, uh, the, the Alaska Honoring Those Who Serve, R the ERJ-175. Just quick disclaimer, yeah, about that stuff. Uh, I will still be definitely getting those and I definitely want to get those. And they're great models. Um, but those might not come as soon. Um... To start off here, we'll start, actually, yeah, we'll start with the uh, Sun Country Airlines 737. Kind of get to focus there. Nice box. Uh, you can see the, the, the print on the box they have on the back of the plane. Sun Country Airlines along with NG and the registration. Boeing 737-800. On the bottom and top you have a depiction. On the sides you have Sun Country Airlines. Um, so, this was one of the... I think this was, this was my first order of model airplanes, and I got it because I knew it would sell out really soon, and eventually I, I, would, I would kind of, you know, bite myself in the butt if I didn't get it soon. Um, and I, and although it wasn't going to benefit me very soon, it was such a cool library, and it looked beautiful, and I knew I was going to need a Sun Country at some point, so I decided to get it, and I'm very happy I did so. Um, absolutely beautiful. NG did, we'll get to it in a second, but the, if you can see on the back there, they did a really great job with some of that, um, some of that very fine, almost kind of a, it looks like a thumbprint on the back there, and you can see it on the box too. Uh, if you don't know, a little bit of his brief history very quickly, uh, Sun Country is an airline that flies I'm pretty sure only out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, but out of Minnesota in general, in general too. I'm pretty sure. Um, also, they only fly 737s. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm not 100. percent I think they're kind of kind of one of those middle budget airlines. They're not. You see them quite a bit in the U.S., but they're not very a very common or mo very popular airline. Not because they're bad. They're just, they just they only fly out of Minnesota, so they're very common in Minnesota. Um, without further ado, we're going to get into this model. Um, up front here, oops, focus. Uh, we have the windshield along with the wipers looking very good. Um, the Sun Country Airlines logo and their new library, the Tide Pod 1, looking amazing with those big Sun Country logo along with the blue engine. The winglet right there. Uh, this one does not have a Wi-Fi box. Uh, but they do have Wi-Fi antennas on it, right? There's the, the back Wi-Fi antenna, and there's the front Wi-Fi antenna. Our registration on today's plane is N830SY, and right below that you can see it's a Boeing 737-800. Now, really quickly, I think it is absolutely amazing that NG models can do this, and it looks absolutely fantastic. The kind of, uh, I would say, a fingerprint, um, I guess, kind of die, not die cast, um, paint job on this back. It looks absolutely amazing. Let's see if we can get an underview here. Looks super good. I mean, just amazing job, super accurate, along with that really beautiful Sun Country tail. And I love the Sun Country because you don't really see too many orange liveries in the aviation world. And this one looks really good, and NG models just absolutely nailed it. Just a quick look on this side here, most of the same stuff. 
Um, so this is gonna be a two-part unboxing really quickly. I think one other thing that I did really well is you can see that Sun Country uh, Airlines logo on the wing, which looks amazing. So this is a two-part unboxing. These are the, this is one of the April 2020 releases from NG Models. Um, looking absolutely fantastic. See if we can get some quick views here. Nice plane, very happy to have it in my collection. We're gonna do a quick go around to the plane right here. I believe this retails, if you're looking to get it, I, they're very hard to find now because it is, I think, like a month or two old. But if you're trying to find it, I would definitely look on eBay. Uh, you can also look at some other retailers, but I think that's gonna be really hard to find. It retails for $43.95, uh, but um, absolutely wonderful model. If you can get it, I would highly recommend it. Yeah, like like normal, NG Models did an absolutely amazing job getting everything right. Um, so now let's move on to the Southwest. We're gonna put this to the side here. And we're gonna look at this beautiful Southwest plane. Uh, so if you guys don't know, Southwest is the biggest uh, low cost carrier in the world, or like I guess they say budget airline. I don't really think Southwest is a total budget airline like Spirit. Um, I think they're kind of in that middle range somewhere. Uh, we have the Boeing 737-800 with that really cool Gemini Jets box and the very nice Southwest 737. Uh, this is in the old livery, otherwise known as the Canyon Blue. I think, I think it's one, uh, or there might be no, maybe the Canyon Blue Library or Canyon Blue One. On the bottom of the box, we have the uh, bottom and top of the box, we have the plane. Along with the side, we have the normal Southwest logo. Oh, one thing I did not show you guys, the back of the box is here. I'll do that really quickly. It's basically the same as the front. I mean, I don't really think and there's anything different. The, the only difference is Gemini Jets really has the backs of the box. The back of the box is a different. Uh, so I, I'm going to do an airport update. My first one will be John Wayne. I'm hoping that will come out sometime at the end of July. I'm still gathering a few. I'm having trouble finding a, an American A321 Neo or old one. Um or CO, uh, so I'm trying to find that, and yeah, I'm hoping that will come out in July, and I'm having a bit of trouble finding an airport too. But I promise you guys I'm working on this, and this is one of the ones that will be featured in that airport. Uh, I need lots of Southwest, because Southwest just flies absolutely everywhere in America, and they have such an expansive uh, route network, that makes it really, you need a lot of Southwest. Um, box situated here okay another really great model a few minor things I think you might have heard it before on some other videos that you might have watched uh, the nose here is just I think as it, the nose cone is a tiny bit too long as you might be able to see that um I don't think it, it's the worst thing ever I think it really is it's pretty okay um, but yeah, you can, you can kind of see that when compared to the, oops, you can kind of see how this one looks a tiny bit better and a tiny bit, you know, just more realistic, but I think it's fine. Some people make a big deal of it, out of it. Uh, and we're gonna just go into detail here. We have our windshield wipers and our windshield, along with our landing gear, nice rolling like NG Models does. I mean, they have some of the best rolling landing gear, I think. Cool stripes continued on the engines there. And then we have our beautiful split scimitars. I think one minor, very minor thing is you can kind of see at the bottom, oops, at the bottom of that little scimitar there, there's the tiniest bit of orange. Now, if we look at the box, they're probably, oops, I need to focus. There probably should be a tiny bit more orange, but I think it, this is also just another minor mistake. I mean, other than that, other than the, these two my very minor things, it's absolutely a beautiful model. Uh, we have our Wi-Fi box in back and along with our Wi-Fi antenna. 
and our Canyon Blue Library with the stripes and the curves going along the bottom there. We have our registration is N8627B. Um, our Southwest tail, absolutely classic, uh, along with our, our backboarding door. Give you a quick back look of the plane. Then we'll flip it around here to go through the other side. Nice Southwest tail. You can also see they, you see on this, this they did a really good job with that orange. You can kind of see a bit of a difference with that nice, I, I think it's great how they really get those oops, those fine details there, even with the southwest.com on that tiny scimitar. So you can see kind of that compared to this right here. There's not as much orange, but minor details. details. Um, most of the same stuff on the bottom here and a nice front. Now, one thing I'm going to go back and do, I forgot to do this with the Sun Country, is the, the bottom of the plane. You get a little bit of perspective for that, uh, for that kind of thumbprint paint job kind of there, I would say. And then you can see they put the blue on the outside of the uh, landing gear, which is very nice, realistic touch. Now... I think one, I know this is silly, but one of my favorite things that they do with the, with the jet with uh, the not jet not jets, uh, the Southwest models are this just perfectly almost almost perfectly red bottom. I think that just looks beautiful. Everything from the red wheels on both sides to that red uh, the red engines and the red uh, things on the end of the wings here. Another thing is. NG Models does a really great job with that landing gear, uh, the landing gear hatch right there. That looks really good. And if you guys didn't see, that is also there on the um, Sun Country 737. Absolutely beautiful planes. Uh, very lucky to have them and very happy to have them in my collection. If you guys don't know, really quickly, uh, the new, I believe it is May 2020, uh, NG models have dropped. We're waiting for, to get some new ones. So once those come out, I will be doing a, uh, but it'll be a June 2020 release for, G, uh, for NG models. I will be doing one on those and what they're gonna look like. I'm really excited to see them. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for another Southwest or maybe an American 737. Uh, just so you guys know, this also, I'm pretty sure this is also sold out. Uh, if you can get it, it's an absolutely beautiful model. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you guys know of any of the Heart One NG models that you can still find. Because I'm trying to look for one of those, but I'm having a little bit of trouble finding it. Um, I think uh, the plan was for NG models to come out with a second release of those. And I'm very excited for that. Um... Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you stay tuned for the photo gallery because uh, this is gonna be an amazingly beautiful photo gallery. Please smash that subscribe button, like button, and notification bell to not miss out on any of my future videos. Uh, we're gonna try and get a video out either on Friday or most likely this weekend. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what it's gonna be yet, but make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching till the end, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.